it works for me. If you have worked within software engineering teams, you have probably heard this many times. It means a bug within the software was found, but it works fine when the developer tests it out. If you are the user reporting the bug, this is depressing to hear. It means there will be a delay in resolution and you'll probably have to do more work. If you are the developer speaking these words, it's a helpless feeling. You built the software for people to use, you want to help them, but you aren't able to do it quickly in your developer environment. My name is Aaron from the VMware Tanzu team. This video will demonstrate how Tanzu application platform will decrease the amount of times you hear. It works for me. Most of the time, when it works for me is used, it is due to an environmental issue. Depending on where the code is running, it will behave differently. Using containers and Kubernetes was supposed to fix this problem. But why do we still hear it works for me? One likely cause is that it is not easy for developers to use Kubernetes real-time while developing and debugging their code in their IDE. Tanzu Application Platform will enable developers to use their IDE to develop and debug their code live in a Kubernetes cluster. Typically, a developer will use the IDE to run and debug their code locally. For example, I'm using VS Code to develop my Spring Boot application. If I want to run this code and get a URL, it is pretty simple. However, what if I want to use the power of my IDE with my source code running in Kubernetes? Using Tanzu Application Platform and its interloop capabilities, the IDE experience will not change for the developer. However, thanks to the supply chain, the local source code will be automatically built into a container image and deployed to a Kubernetes cluster. The developer will be able to utilize all the real-time goodness of the IDE and test out their environmental issues simultaneously. All right, so let's check this out. Um, I am looking at my Spring Boot application of VS Code on the left-hand side of the screen, and I have Postman on the right, which we'll use to hit the API once it's up and running. So let's check out our Kubernetes environment in default namespace to make sure our application is not currently running. We'll see it is not. So to start the application, we'll bring up the VS Code plugin, which will be called, is called Tanzu Live Update Start. So this is where the process will start to utilize the supply chain that's running on the cluster to build the container, push it to a registry, and then deploy it to Kubernetes. We can take a look at our command line here to see if a build pod has indeed kicked off. We'll see it has started. And so what, the, like I said, this is gonna build the container and then deploy it. We can also look at the Tanzu logs uh, for the workload itself, which will show various messaging on the stage of where it's at, such as building or waiting or deploying. So we'll see different messages here um, if you were to tail this and watch it. So now we're just waiting for our workload to come up, the pod to come up in Kubernetes. Once that does, so it looks like it finished, we'll be able to have a, a, our local source code running in my Kubernetes cluster. So let's just make do a listing real quick of the pods to make sure um, that it came up. So there it is. You can see the build pod completed successfully and the application is now running. All right, now that we have our running source code, let's tail the logs of this container so that we can see what happens when we hit the API with our Postman. So we'll get the log started here. Once we get to the bottom, we'll go over to our Postman API, uh, Postman app application on the side, hit the API, see the data returned in Postman. And then we can also see the print message, the, the log message there at the bottom. But say we want to change that. Let's change that log message to something else. We'll just say uh, listing employees. And all we have to do is save it. And that's automatically going to update the running pod in my Kubernetes cluster so that we can see live changes. There it goes. And once it is up and running again, we will simply go to our Postman and hit the API again. And we'll see our new message. Pretty cool, huh? Live updates in a pod running in my Kubernetes cluster. All right, now that we've seen live updates from our local source code to our running pod in the Kubernetes cluster, what about debugging functionality of the IDE? Can we step through our code that's running on the Kubernetes cluster? 
Absolutely. All we have to do in VS Code is set a breakpoint as we usually would, highlight the workload.yaml file, and then select Hanzu debug start. This will deploy a new version of the pod. It'll, and once it is up and running, it will do a port forward and that debugging functionality will be available to you. So it's ready. We'll go over to Postman. We'll, for, we'll go over to Postman and hit the API again. And soon we will see the yellow highlight in the VS Code that shows it's ready to step through the code. So it's ready. It's prompting me there. And so now we can step through as normal. If we watch the log while we step through, we'll see the log message when we do the step through. So not only can we do live updates and see live updates running in our pods, we can also do debug on a live, on a live pod running in a Kubernetes cluster. All right, that's it. Same developer experience, but a more reliable way to determine if it works for me. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was a good glimpse of how Tanzu application platform will enable software developers to better determine if it works for me. If you've heard that phrase too many times or you just want to learn more, please visit tanzu.vmware.com.